Welcome back to you. So let's take a quick look now at different hybrid workplace models. So hybrid working is typically referred to um, and thought of as working from home, but this isn't necessarily the case. It can mean a flexible working model whereby employees work partly in a physical workplace or their head office and partly working from home remotely or another workplace. Um, and it can also refer to not just flexibility in terms of location, but other um, flexible options, including flexible hours, um, shift patterns, how much you work, what you work on, when you work, and who you work with. So before you look at remote and home working in isolation, let's explore other options, including various types of co-working and flexible office workspaces. Um, now these can often be a lot more accessible. They can be in the peripheral, smaller towns, rural areas, um, as well as the bigger cities. So these types of workspaces are really known for their highly reliable infrastructure, their connectivity, flexible and short-term memberships, accessibility 24 seven, some of them. Um, they're economical um, and more often than not, all intrusive pricing models. So you've got things like rates, cleaning, electric, all in one pricing. So it can remove a lot of the headache. More recently, they've been uh, more common, as I said, in the peripheral locations, even rural areas. And if you have employees really struggling with commuting, but requiring that structure during their day, together with good economic workstations, strong reliable infrastructure, then this could be a really sound option for you. Um, and often you can get um, account managers that will find a number of different flexible office workspaces in different locations for your employees, and they will manage that all under one contract. So again, less of a headache. So it can really improve um, a network community that isn't necessarily available working from home and can really help motivation, well-being and avoid that, um, that isolated feeling. So there are various types of co-working and flexible office workspaces, ranging from your traditional open plan hot desking to flexible private office workspaces, still having that business community there, um, as well as those aimed more at the corporate um, and professional business co-working community. Then when we move, then we move into the higher end luxury offerings, which are generally located more in the city spaces. Um, and they include lifestyle amenities such as gyms, um, possibly concierge services as well and other things. They're also managed and service offerings um, and they tailor offerings to suit you, your individual needs, your business needs, maybe branding, different furniture, signage, etc. So moving on to more remote homeworking, you know, this can range from 100% homeworking through to supported homeworking with ancillary facilities that can run in conjunction. And they can be um, or include, but am I, by all means, not limited to uh, virtual assistance, virtual office address and mailbox facilities, online software, as we were talking in a previous episode with um, apps and software resources to, to handle communications, meetings, setups, etc. And also resources to handle privacy and security. So for example, your a VPN line can really help with your IP security. Uh, you can outsource experts and they can be sourced either virtually or in person. There's also generally um, local meeting room hire near you, conferencing facilities, printing facilities, hot desking and places for collaboration. Um, and other meetings, so for example, hotels and coffee shops, you know, all of these ancillary and add-on facilities can be sourced locally, even in rural areas now. So these are just some of the many um, hybrid workplace model options that can be flexed on a full-time or a part-time basis, or they can be used in conjunctions um, and mixed hybrid different options. And then you can schedule, perhaps you want to schedule once a week meeting with all employees to come into the head office or once a month, or you all remote in onto a, a, an online virtual teams meeting. So there are so many different options um, that you can really tailor to your individual teams and businesses needs. So it's important to really make the best informed decision and choices for you, your team and your business to decide on your hybrid workplace model or even whether it's right or not right for your business.
And if you'd like some more help mentoring, I've said previously, I do offer power hour and strategy sessions and you can contact me and book a discovery, free discovery call, no obligations via our website. And there will be other um, online courses and webinars coming up very soon. And I'll let you know, know more about this on our social media and website. So thank you very much for tuning in. Get in touch, as I said, if you'd like any extra help. Stay tuned and have a wonderful day.